Good morning, mighty companions. It's good to see you. Good day, wherever you are. It's morning here, as usual. I do these once a week in the mornings on Thursdays. It's an interesting experience for me. Um, and it's, uh, it's a good experience, really good. Um, my name is Jim Bellow, and I'm working with my book, uh, Quantum Reggae, Message from Bob, Volume Oneness, which is, uh, which is this. <laughs> um, uh, what I'd like to do this morning, uh, this, this, these videos are a, a space, a certain kind of space. And uh, primarily think of it as a sanctuary, really as a sanctuary. And that's a, an important idea, I think. But what I'd like to do this morning, just for a moment, is um, read uh, two paragraphs from A Course in Miracles. A Course in Miracles has uh, three sections, and in the middle section is uh, what's called the workbook. And they are ideas that you can work with once a day for 365 days, also known as a year. <laughs> I've done the workbook twice, and um, both times with um, girlfriends, uh, with, with a girlfriend, <laughs> one at a time, and uh, uh, it was a very good experience. <laughs> Let's not go there. Huh? Okay, just these two paragraphs. Lesson, lesson 122, <clears throat> excuse me, in A Course in Miracles. Uh, the idea is uh, given first. It's the forgiveness offers everything I want. So the idea with these lessons is that you take the idea and work with it for the entire day. But I'd just like to read to you the promise, the promise of both uh, The Course in Miracles and my book, is the same, uh, and here, here it is spelled out. <laughs> Forgiveness offers everything I want. What could you want forgiveness cannot give? Do you want peace? Forgiveness offers it. Do you want happiness, a quiet mind, a certainty of purpose, and a sense of worth and beauty that transcends the world? Do you want care and safety and the warmth of sure protection always? Do you want a quietness that cannot be disturbed, a gentleness that can never be hurt, a deep abiding comfort and a rest so perfect that it can never be upset? All this forgiveness offers you and more. It sparkles in your eyes as you awake and gives you joy with which to meet the day. It smooths your forehead while you sleep and rests upon your eyelids so you see no dreams of fear and evil, malice and attack. And when you wake again, it offers you another day of happiness and peace. All of this forgiveness offers you and more. Do you want happiness, a quiet mind, a certainty of purpose, and a sense of worth and beauty that transcends the world? Do you want care and safety and the warmth of sure protection always? Forgiveness offers everything I want. <clears throat> This is a remarkable, remarkable material, what I just read there. What kind of a promise, you know, could that be? To be so uh, pervasively big and total. This idea of a sanctuary. Uh, I, I introduced this early in the first couple of videos, this idea of sanctuary and of holding space. So that's what these videos are. Um, a place where you can come for 10 minutes or 12 and <laughs> um, sort of follow the sound of my voice and feel the power of the ideas uh, in, in a way that um, 
soothes. It soothes in an immediate way and gives the uh, keys and tools needed to make it a permanent condition. Um, this material that I'm working with is heavy duty trigger material, it, which means um, since we are all in the oneness, fully and completely all the time, the journey, spiritually speaking, is simply one of awareness. How do I become aware that I am in the oneness full time? That I am, as this just stated, that I am safe and taken care of all the time. That there's a resource internally that I can go to in all circumstances. So, um, I'd like to, to get back to a certain idea that I introduced uh, in the first, I think it was in the third video, this idea of how the, this whole world of space and time, when, my, when I pass from my body out of this uh, realm, and that's even not really even accurate. Uh, it is and it isn't, you know, in a, in a way I'm here and in a way I'm not. <laughs> uh, this idea that when I die, uh, this entire world of space and time rolls up and disappears. This is one of what I call lighthouse ideas. A lighthouse idea is, is, can be thought of like a grappling hook. Um, there are some ideas in A Course in Miracles that are so outrageous, and this is one of them. <coughs> Excuse me. This is one of them. The, um, the idea that this entire shebang rolls up and disappears when I pass from this body has tremendous implications, unbelievable meaning in this idea. What happens to my son? <laughs> what happens to my uh, house? <laughs> um, but the idea is like a grappling hook. The idea is so outrageous and it's so counterintuitive, which is a healthy thing. It's a healthy thing for it to be counterintuitive uh, based on logic. Uh, logic can only go to a certain place. It's a completely horizontal, uh, it's a locked-in horizontal idea, logic. So we're, we're going to psychologic, <laughs> metaphysic. So let me, let me further, let me deepen this just a little bit. If, if that may be true, how could it be true? This is the way to work with these lighthouse ideas. It's how, not just to reject it, <laughs> but to work with how could it be true and what would it mean and how could everyone be safe if that were true? Uh, so let me, let me pose it slightly differently. This whole shebang rolls up and disappears when I quote unquote die. How do you know that that's not true? No, I mean you, not someone else, you, how do you know that that's not true? Right now I'm sitting in my apartment uh, and I have a, a picture framing shop two and a half miles from here. Is that picture framing shop there while I'm here? Is it actually there? Uh, if you saw the movie What the Bleep Do We Know there's a very interesting section well I, that movie is marvelous I highly recommend it um, but there's a section where this one of the scientists is talking about how um, matter uh, changes when it's observed basically speaking all matter is in the form of a wave and perception is in the form of images 
So images are created and made out of waves. But when you observe, when you turn to interact with a wave of energy uh, yourself, it snaps into a place as a particle. And when you turn away, it goes back to being a wave. <laughs> I told you, this, some of you are going to be ready for that idea. And, and, and don't be afraid of it, because what it's triggering is this aha, oh, this how it begins to make sense. So I'm going to enlarge on this idea. Um, so how do you know that it's not true? It's really fascinating. So what would happen to my son? So let me just add one more piece to this before I end today. What it must mean is that I have to create not only my body to come into this space, um, I have to create the entire environment. And so if it rolls up when I, just, when I die, that means that I am not here in the first place. And that the, the being in a body who appears to be my son, Jesse, truly marvelous uh, being, who I'm very proud of, <laughs> he mustn't be here either. So think about that. Take some time to think about it. Ponder it. The, again, the idea is how could this be true? And I, I, will, I welcome questions through uh, Facebook comments and email. Um, but I'm going to uh, enlarge upon this in the next video as well. So here I am, way over my 10 minutes. <laughs> um, but it's, it's about love. The bottom line is love. And the reason that I had to create the environment, as well as my body, in order to dwell here, is this. So we'll continue to explore that. I um, hope you have a good week. Be well. One love.